turning down, what was it, an M from the labels? Bro. It's a lot of money. A, lot, a mil's a lot, bro. But that's, that's what I was going to say. A mil is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. I never liked TikTok, bro. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of cringy. People kind of doing so all that. you went over there doing dances doing now? All of that time, I used to rock these back in like year seven, year eight. What was that like three years ago? Trying to violate my <laughs> thing, <bro. laughs> oh, You know what's mad? I Go knew on. that was gonna happen as well. What do you mean? I knew, I knew that if I did that, Drake would see it. Yeah, everyone yeah. would go mad about it. Oh man, what are you going? saying, bro? How are you, bro? Good, bro. You good? Are you, man? I'm good, bro. Listen, our man's got the drama drama. Like, you know I got rep, man. You know I got rep, man. You know I got rep, man. Do you know the drama boys, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie, man, Kareem. They're one of my peoples, okay. bro. They're coming up, man. They're not even coming up, bro. They're doing bro? this. Bro, when I tell you, bro, they got some some, some things coming, bro. Obviously, you bro. You got, got things coming, bro. d and D. Bro, that's me, man. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, that's we're gonna me. get, we're gonna that's get into me. it. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. But first of all, where do you wanna go, man? What, what kits you wanna see? Bro, I can't lie, my fours guy. You're a fours guy. Fours guy. What about you? We'll talk about it. All Let's right, go this way. All right. All right, Nems. Fours. We got the fours right here. Mm. I mean, what, what is it? What is it about the fours that you like so much? I can't lie, it's the way it fits yeah. with the outfits, bro. Like, see, like, the ones, I can't be wearing them with straight leg pants, bro. I hear These, you. These, they go with everything. I can wear them slim fit, baggy, you know what I'm saying? Have, have they always been, like, one of your favourite Jordans, or is it, like, a recent thing? I can't lie, I used to be on the ones. Yeah. On a, on a young man thing. That's now, for the young man thing. I'm, I'm still young, innit, bro, but I'm, I'm growing, innit? I hear <laughs> I'm it. I'm growing, bro. The youngest in charge. But, um, I've always wanted these, but I couldn't afford them, bro. Mm. You get me? So as soon as I got a little money, bro, I was like, yep, straight to kick game. Took the, took the shelf, <laughs> took the shelf Ain't home, no fam. Let's talk about that, actually, because obviously I heard, you know, in your song, mm -hmm. the lyrics, that mm -hmm. you're going to spend a bag in kick game. Mm -hmm. What was that, in money? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've been showing love from early yeah, to kick... Yeah, 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 bro. My guy. Bro. My guy. But I can see you got on the, the Louis skates right yeah. now. Don't, let's, look, we're not playing. Like, you oh, can man. see it's right there. Light one. So you saying? Money's been going bro. well? Light one, bro. It's been going well, man. I can't lie, bro. Yeah. I mean, I feel, I feel like I'm in a good position now. We're progressing mm. slowly. It's not been too quick. It's been a gradual journey. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm just happy to be here, bro. Let, let me ask you something. How is it like being so successful, having the following you have, mm -hmm. the money you're making at such a young age? How are you balancing that? Bro, I can't lie. It's kind of trial and error, innit, bro? Like, mm. so when I first got money, bro, it's like I had to go through certain things to learn what not to do. Facts. Or else, if I was at this stage right now and I didn't go through certain things, I'd be fucked. I can't <laughs> lie. It's just about having a good team around you. Obviously, I got my manager there. Anytime yeah. I need advice, I got the lawyer. Yeah, you've got, got a good team. I got good people around me in it, mm. so that helps, bro. Definitely. Let's speak about um, another lyric that you said. Yeah. Turning down, what was it, an M from the labels? Bro. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, bro. innit? Like, bro, a lot of men, especially when I was younger and we was coming up, and there were people getting offered deals, mm -hmm. right? And obviously now in 2024, I feel like a lot of artists and a lot of people have a lot more knowledge mm -hmm. about the music industry and how the game kind of works. Mm -hmm. And they were getting offered deals that were a lot, lot lower than a mil mm -hmm. and taking them. Because mm -hmm. obviously when you come from, you know, the ends and there's nothing, ends. it's a lot of money. A mil's a lot, bro. But that's, that's what I was going to say. A mil is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It is so a lot of money, bro. So for you being a young man, obviously you've got a team with you and they'll, you know, help you get in the right direction. But what was that like to have a mil and then turn that down? Bro, I can't lie. It's flattering, isn't it? Yeah. It's flattering. It's definitely flattering, bro, to be able yeah. to, like, to see your worth progress to that point, bro. Because if, if I if I said to someone two years ago, yo, I can I'm gonna get a mill, they'd be like, nah, you can't. Fast forward, I'm turning it down, bro. Crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? But what made you turn it down? I know my worth, innit, bro? I know my worth, bro. There's no point me selling myself short at a point where I, I haven't even reached my peak yet, bro. Facts. You know? A lot of people be doing that, they be see the money and they think, yeah, 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 I'm lit now, I'm lit now. And then mm. two years later, or a year later, bro, they're just declining, declining, declining. Yeah. And I ain't trying to have that right now, bro. Independence the way. He's going in his head. And yeah, the thing man. is, there's a lot of people in our scene now, there's examples, I, you know, I read your interview with Hunger. Mm -hmm. Dope, by the way. Love and that. I saw you say, you know, ads mm -hmm. and Central C are mm -hmm. two people that, you know, you think are dope, but like, they're also two people that took that same route, right? Mm -hmm. 
Definitely. Is that like almost a blueprint that you've seen other artists, you know, that you, you respect kind yeah, of def- take that indie route? Definitely, bro. It's, it's inspirational to see how far people can get trusting themselves and believing in themselves and it motivates me to keep going at the same time. Because there's been times where I'm like, oh, maybe I should take a deal mm. or maybe I should just get some help from these people. Yeah. And then I see what these men are doing and other people as well, across even Americans and that, that were independent as well. I see them just keep going, keep going, keep grinding and the leverage just goes higher and higher. And then before you know it, I can go into a room and be like, bro, I want 20 mil. And they're like, here you go. Do you get what I'm saying? I love it, bro. The aspirations, so, yeah, man. the vision's For there. Real. I love hearing this now, For though. Because there was a time where it wasn't like that. Like, like I said, people just had to kind of take deals. Mm. But we're seeing that artists, especially younger artists, are just knowing their worth now. Definitely, bro. Doing thing. All right, let's go to the heat wall, then. Let's go. All right, Nems. Yo. It's the heat wall right here. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you spit that heat. Mm-hmm. You got heat on your feet right now. Come on. So it only made sense to come to this wall. It's only right. What are we feeling on here? I can't lie. I'm feeling these, bro. The Travis's, yeah. These are crazy. So are these as well. Are you, are you a fan of Travis? Yeah, bro. I think he's cold. Yeah? I think he's cold. He just he set the level with Astro World, didn't he? That's crazy. what it was, bro. Crazy. Definitely. What, what else? I fought with the Lambins though. Yeah, you have the Lambins. They're hard. You got any of them? Yeah, yeah, I got the black ones. They're hard. But it's hard to put them with fits though, bro. It is. Because you see, because the laces are so thick, every mm. time I'm trying to put it together, bro, it'd be looking awkward. Let's yeah, talk man. about DD, man. Yeah. The project. I've seen 11 tracks. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you got two tracks out at the moment. Mm-hmm. You got L's. Mm-hmm. I love L's, by the way. Let me show you how that, that, bro. Come on, man. Pop a smooth with it. But 11 tracks, are there features on it? One feature. There's one. But he's not from the UK. I swear I'm down. trying to build this, and there's another feature, but he's not bait. All right, let me ask you something. How comes you've opted for that route? How comes you don't do a lot of features with, with UK artists? Because I want to build up my leverage to the point where people can't say he's the reason the song's popping. Do you get what I'm saying? This guy, you fool it's about facts, it. Bro. It's facts, bro, because I'd just rather wait until I've established my brand to the point where it speaks for itself. Mm. Say I was to jump on a track with, say, I don't know, Heady, yeah. for example. People be like, oh, he's the reason that this track's popping. Or it'd be like, they'll go to Heady's verse. Verse. I respect that. I respect that. Are there, are, are there any UK artists though that you would want to club with when the time's right? Mm, definitely, bro. Sench, yeah. Dave, Ads, Legends. Mm, Nines as well. I think mm. Nines is cold. Did you get a chance to go to um, D Block Europe show, O2? I think go, bro. What, what's your thoughts on that? Them selling out four bro, dates at the O2? That, that shows, yeah, what the independent grind can do for you, bro. Facts. You stay true to yourself, bro. Never know where you can be. Four days at the O2. There though. you go, bro. That is crazy. That's bro. mad. Dead, bro. <laughs> Dead I don't good. know if there's Dead anyone good. else in our scene that can do there's that. No, there's no one else, bro. But again, bro, they just believed in themselves, went as hard as they could. Because remember, bro, they were sitting on like 400 unreleased songs. Remember yeah, yeah, Kitchen yeah. Kings when it came out, they already recorded it three years ago, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Work. So their work ethic shows, bro. Mm. And that's why they got the results, bro. People think that you're going to get results without doing anything. Yeah. You know, you got to put in the work, man. Shout out to real? DBE always, man. Nah, They're doing real, their man. Thing Salute you, man's thing, bro. Killing it. Man. Let's talk about another artist. You've yeah. got a massive co-sign. Obviously, the UK artist, you're saying mm-hmm. when the time's right, but Drizzy. Mm-hmm. Drizzy gave you a massive co-sign as well. Obviously, you was already doing your thing, but just to have someone like Drake, like think about it. When Drake came out, you mm-hmm. was like young, young when mm-hmm. he first came in the game. To have him now, like, show... Always talk to us about the story. How did he even come across you? You know what it was, yeah? It was February times, yeah. I went to LA and shot yeah. a video. I weren't too sure about the song, like I was a bit iffy, bro, because at this time I was just trying to get, trying to get hot, though. So I'm yeah, trying yeah, everything. Yeah. You get me? Obviously, I put the song out now. He follows, man. I'm like, nah, bro. I swear, and what's the song I was for gassed. That I don't, don't know. Way too lit. Okay, bro. Wait. I was gas. I don't get gas for anybody, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like you can ask my manager or anybody, bro. He'll tell me, yo, I don't want to say someone's name and pop down there thing, but you can tell me anybody, bro. And I would be like, okay, cool. Yeah. But that, bro, I was like, nah, straight. I'm doing something right. And that motivated me, bro. It kept mm. me going. I can't lie. And at that time, bro, I needed it. For real, so have man. you have you spoke to Drake? Have you had any comments? Yeah, yeah, or? yeah. We had some interactions there, bro, here and there, man. And Lil Yachty as well. I, oh, shout him out to you. Well, he be showing love as well, bro. Okay, Big that's lit. Up, I didn't know Lil Yachty was tapped in like that. Yeah, man. I know he's on the clothes and that. We had him in here. He mugged me off, but it's cool, <laughs> man. It's cool. Shout out to you anyway. But yeah, I didn't know he was tapped in like that. Yeah, I read that. man. 
Obviously, you did the um, AM in Money as well, mm -hmm. where you flipped the AM in Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. cold as well. That was cold. Well, you know what's mad? I God. knew that was going to happen as well. What do you mean? I knew, I knew that if I did that, Drake would see it. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. would go mad about it. Yeah. And it just worked in my favour, bro. Yeah, it's popped off. It's gone like, what, 2.5 million yeah, views as crazy. we film this? It's crazy, bro. Crazy. It's crazy. Just see you just ripping it out. Where are you at the petrol station? Yeah, yeah, just a one shot thing, bro. I got, I got you know, Dumb Prod. Yeah, yeah. Then man came down to Manny. About 10 minutes shot, went back to London, bro. Mm. <laughs> Quick thing, bro, it's freezing. So what, did you expect it to take off like that then? Did you have a feeling? Bro, I knew it was gonna do well, mm. but I didn't know it was gonna go that far, innit? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But I was gassed, bro. You have an ear for beats, mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a sample or whatever it happens to be, like, where did that come from? Because I I, I read that, you know, your, both your parents mm. were into music, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 correct, bro. Correct. Do you feel that played an influence or is it just something? Definitely, definitely, bro. Obviously, my mum made beats from young. Your mum made yeah, beats? Yeah, my mum can, my can make beats, Shout man. Shout out Mumsy, man. All day, boy. <laughs> Shout out Mumsy. And obviously my dad, he's Jamaican, isn't it? so he just like the reggae sort of. He never, he never really put out the music like that, <laughs> but he can, he can sing, in it. Big up, big up dad as well, yeah. man. But um, so from young, I've always had the, the music around me, innit? Yeah. Anyway, fast forward a little bit. Yeah. Bro, I was in the studio one time, just going through beats, going through beats, going through beats. My mum must have picked out a beat. And I was like, yeah, this is cold. And ever since that day, yeah, she always said, yeah, how the beat makes you feel. If it mm. makes you feel like nostalgic, then always go with it. And since then, bro, that's how it is. That's good advice. Always, bro. I can't lie. And it's obviously working because mm. all the beats you pick, one, they sound good, but you ride them in a mm. particular way. What, what would you say like your style is? Nems, isn't it? Nems? That's it? It's Nems? Yeah. That's me, man. I ain't really got a name for it, but yeah. it's Nems type beat, man. That's me. <laughs> That's me, innit? <laughs> I That's it. me, you, man. Because obviously you're repping money. Mm -hmm. You're up north. Obviously, there's this thing where people in London feel like, oh, we're always into London, and people in up north are into their ice up north. We're mm -hmm. seeing it cross over more over the years, and obviously there's people from Manchester as well that have put mm -hmm. on for Manchester. But do you feel like there's a weight of expectation to kind of carry Manchester forward as well? Yeah, I know. Cause like, if, as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, if everybody else, if everybody else fucks with you, bro, mm. then your hometown will fuck with you. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like I focus on conquering what I need to conquer outside of that. And when I come back, I'll be well, it'll be well received. So do you feel like you get a lot of love outside of Manchester as well? Yeah, definitely. Because I remember there was a time when I was younger and then we had artists from Manchester come through, obviously like Bugs and Malone. So we're talking like 2015, 2016, them times. Mm -hmm. It felt like it was hard for the Northerners to kind of maybe get the respect Definitely, bro. of down south. Definitely. Whereas today, mm -hmm. it doesn't really feel like that. Yeah, cause I feel like nowadays people are starting to open their ears a bit more to music, bro. I yeah. feel like it was very heavily, the game's always been heavily focused on in London, innit? Mm. Because everything's in London. Do you know what I'm saying? And especially because the culture is mainly from London. So yeah. I feel like when other people started doing it, I think before H, there wasn't really any anything else apart from Bugsy Malone as well. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. mainly popping in Manny. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? I think H was the one who really first broke London. Shout out H as well, man. Shout out to H. Have you got co-signs from all them, them man in Manchester? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out Tundi as well, man. Oh yeah, Tundi. Tundi's Shout killing it. No, killing he's doing right his thing now, for man. real. Killing all right, let's it. move over to this side of the wall. What about these? What are we having here? Have you got expensive taste? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you got expensive yeah. taste. This, I like these. Dior Jordan ones, yeah. I think these are hard. Of course. These, cold. Cold fours. Yeah, no, I can't lie. They're my favorite. They're crazy. Bro. They're my favorite. I'm yeah, like, upset that I don't have a pair of cold yeah. fours. They are crazy, bro. Why don't I have a pair of cold fours? I, I hate them. I wear them though. If you're I, a hype beast, bro, that's a good one for your collection. I know, but man won't wear them though. I'll actually wear them. I can't lie, especially that color. That yeah, color is cold. fire. They're cold, man. What about? I need off fights down here or no? Nah, they're dead, bro. <laughs> I can't lie, bro, they're meaty, bro. A lot of these preps are expensive, expensive, bro. Are you being honest? They're actually dead, bro. It's, 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 it's no, your for real. You're, you're being honest, you know what I'm saying? But the hype beast, again, if you're a hype beast, bro, perfect for your collection, innit? Yeah. But me, bro, I, I need it to look nice, innit? <laughs> I need it to look nice, bro. Let me, let me ask you a question on this. Um, what's your thoughts on this whole TikTok? Universal thing. Have you seen this? Bro, I'm just glad I ain't signed to Universal, innit? <laughs> That's all. I'm not even going to say anything else. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not signed to Universal right now. <laughs> yeah, Safe. I, I can hear it. I hear Safe. it. It'll be long. It'll be long right now. Because the music be long, will come off TikTok. Long day, man. It's proper long. What, but what's your thoughts on TikTok in general? Because obviously TikTok's become... It's a gift and a curse, like mm -hmm. most things, right? It's become a vehicle for people to make a song blow. Even songs that came out time ago, they mm -hmm. can find a new use of life on it. come back and just go crazy. But then there's the 
the other side of it where artists are making music for TikTok and it's becoming quite basic and nursery rhyming. Yeah. What's, your, what's your thoughts on the whole TikTok and music industry? Obviously, bro, like, even coming into the game, obviously, I don't want to contradict myself because my, my main recognition came from TikTok. Okay. But at the start, I never liked TikTok, bro. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of cringy. People kind of do so you know that. over there doing dancing you know stuff? The, all of that, fam. You know what I'm saying? I just went around. You know? When I, when I first jumped on TikTok, I wasn't too sure. I put it on TikTok, it started doing well. Mm. And then after that, I just kept going, kept posting, kept posting. I started to understand it a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. And then the recognition came. But as for artists posting songs just specifically for TikTok, I think it's the wrong move. Because no, right. you kind of box yourself in and people won't take you serious, bro. Mm. Like, even though a lot of my music goes viral on TikTok, I don't make music for, for TikTok. TikTok. It, you just, get what I'm saying? it just naturally goes viral on there. Literally, bro. How much, how much, how much love do you get on TikTok? A lot, bro, I can't it's, lie. You say just running a lot, TikTok, man. yeah. They got, they got the fans on TikTok, Come man. Come on. Hey, they're savage you on know, TikTok, though, you know? Sometimes they say comments, I'm like, bro, do you know me? Do you fully know me? Like, I feel like, man, it's a personal one, No, bro. no, they got mad. They don't hold back. Do you know what a man said to me once? What? Yeah. There was a billboard of me. Obviously, I'm not even trying to flex. There was a billboard world of me. Like Look, one, like one. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> no, right, not any right. billboard, not any billboard. What, what billboard was Piccadilly it? Piccadilly Circus. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Big Piccadilly right. Circus, I was up there. So obviously, I'm in front of the billboard, you know what I'm right. saying? Flexing, doing my thing. Throw up a couple of peace signs. Well, the top comment was, his gun's defo pink. <laughs> 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 so we're like, his gun's definitely okay. big. And then someone responded to it, it was like, with glitter. And then they, <laughs> they just kept adding Have you seen what bro. they be doing to Drake on there as well? No, what they doing to They him? be going They're in on him, bro. But he be turning it into some, he be like going he's, along he's with it. He's running with it. Yeah, he's running with it, bro. If that was me, nah, bro. Yeah, I'm not, I'm bro. reporting, I'm man, and all that, bro. bro. Fuck all that, man. I'm, I'm thin skinned. Let's all go right. over here. Come there. All right, right, the dance wall. Do you into dance? Yeah, they're hard, bro. Yeah? I don't actually own any, though, bro. But I need to. I need to what? get my... I swear, Why? bro. I don't. Bro, it's just a recent... It's just recently grown on me, innit? It's okay. never been a crap. I've been like, yeah, I need to get these. I need to get these. Like I said, I was a fours guy, bro. Like, if you see if you see my collection, it's just fours, 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 fours. What about your man, then? Are they all fours as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're on the same wave, You know, bro. the man them just roll with whatever. I can't lie. These are more like summer shoes, bro. Yeah, they are. Too I mean, bang some shorts, oversized tee and that little messenger bag. Yeah, man. Super colourful. Smooth, man. The girls like dance as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's more of a girl shoe than, than a man them too. Bro. Are you getting a, a lot of love from the girls on TikTok and stuff? Like, would you say, because obviously as an artist, mm -hmm. it's important to have a female fan base, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when you're coming out now. And I think that's something that we're still talking about, D-Bot Europe. That's what mm -hmm. they've done well. Definitely. They've well. built like a strong female fan base. I feel like when you're a rapper and you're only appealing to maybe just the males, it kind of boxes yourself in. Facts. Do you feel like you've bu built a female fan base as well? Yeah, we'll get there, innit? You're going to get in that bag? You're going to get in that bag? Like, we'll you know, the bag the the tape, bro, I've got someone there for the females. Is bro. it? I can't lie. Okay. Yeah, All right, man. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look out for that. Mm -hmm. How does it feel as well? Because obviously, you know, I'm older. Mm -hmm. How old are you, bro? We're not saying. I look great though. I look sensational. That's the most important thing <laughs> for my age. <laughs> but when it comes to the youngins now mm -hmm. and everyone coming through, what do you think is like the wave that's taking hold now? Because I felt like when I was coming up, mm -hmm. it was all about lyrics, lyrics, lyrics. Mm -hmm. You're still a lyric man, yeah. which I respect. But there's a lot of artists, I think, that are just not lyric people at the moment. What, what do you think is the wave? Is it more lyrical? Is it just... Relatable things. Okay. I think it's more relatable. I feel like people like to just hear things that they think, oh, I've been through that, or I want that, or I've been through that situation. You know what I mean? It's like, say, for example, people talking about getting caught cheating. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of people have cheated before, yeah. so they relate to that. Or people saying, I want this girl, but I ain't got her. A lot of people ain't got the girl, but they want a girl. Do you nice. get what I'm saying? Nice. I feel like that's that's what's keeping everything going nowadays. So Definitely. when you're writing, is that a key thing you always keep in mind? Like, yeah, I need yeah, to make yeah, sure yeah. my lyrics are relatable? Definitely, bro. I respect that still. I gotta be strategic, that. bro. No, of course. Of course. Gotta of be course. strategic, like, obviously man. You, you've, got, like, you've got it on your head. Like, mm -hmm. you know what's going on there. When it comes to rappers you were listening to growing up, mm -hmm. who were your guys? Who was, like, your top three guys? I can't lie. I weren't really playing no music, but my parents would be, like, Tupac, Biggie, Nas. All of them people, 50 Cent as well, my yeah, mum yeah, liked yeah. 50 Cent as well. And that, that was kind of it. And Michael Jackson was just my thing, bro. Your parents are young, innit? Yeah, yeah, my parents They might be close to some man's age. That's crazy, guys. <laughs> You're saying Big, Biggie, two back and Nas, yeah. they're my guys. Yeah, man. That's mad. So you grew up with lyrics then? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. That was something that was always like big that you took, took on board? Yeah, definitely, bro. 
All right, see with D&D, what, what is the whole kind of ethos behind it? Why did you call it D&D? Obviously it means do not disturb, but what, what's the story behind that? Because it, it resembles my personality, bro. Like I'm very introverted, bro. So I'll be really? more, I'm more laid back. I'm not really the guy who's always talking, talking, or maybe around my friends. Yeah, but yeah. in general, when you see me, I'm just minding my business, doing my own thing. And I like my own space, bro. Yeah. And when people are trying to get through to me, they can't. You Serious? You don't even ring, bro. We're we using that D&D mode. The phone don't even ring, fam. I can't lie. See the D&D <laughs> mode? And this, this is nothing to do with you. I feel like it's a trend right now. Nah, it is a it's trend. It's like CMOS. But I, I, I don't do it for a trend, bro. Oh, okay. I don't be doing it for a trend. I was doing it from way from way back. back. Yeah, man. Because I feel like when I'm messaging people now, I always just a D&D mode. They've even put on Instagram. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is yeah, this? You're not all introverts. Yeah, facts. Fact, some people be forcing it, definitely. Forcing it for real, like, bro. Forcing it. And they put it on D and D, and you message them, and they respond. So like, what, what are we doing? Here? And the craziest thing is, people be on D and D and getting no love from anybody, fam. <laughs> <laughs> so like, who are you, so who are you trying to avoid? No who are you trying to avoid, bro? Like, okay, you know? no, a man said D and D, and you don't even get messages. <laughs> All right, so I noticed you've been rocking Lost Boys. Mm -hmm. Big up the Lost Boys, they're man. From, where they from? Not, not, not them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Sha, Eds, Moors, Luke, all of the man them, bro. Shout you all man, the man them. Man, they're coming up, bro. They're ha coming up. Yeah, how did you lock in with them then? So it was Fashion Week 2022. Yeah. I was there and I went out with the Trap Star man, innit? Mm. And then Moors was there, Luke and them, man, and we just all started chatting, made friends, you know? And we've just been boys ever since, bro. Swear I've been down. supporting that thing, bro. That man are creative, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rate it, bro. Cause... Do you know what I rate as well, though? Because you're proper supporting, like, the up-and-coming brands. It's mm -hmm. so easy to get money and then just, you know, go to the big brands and do Facts, that. Bro. And it's cool to do that. Facts. But I think it's also important to support young up-and-coming creatives, man, that are doing dope shit. Definitely, bro. They're the, they're the new wave, man. Swear the new down. wave, bro. 100%. You don't have to plug me in, then. Because yeah. I, I ain't got none of their pieces. I got you, bro. Yeah, got man. You, man. Plug, plug me in. Would you do anything with, like, Lyrical Lemonade, maybe, in the future? Yeah. Are you a fan of this? Though? I met him as well, Cole Bennett. Oh, swear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at the um, Trippy Red show, Trippy okay. Red, when he brought me out when he was in London. Yeah. And then Cole Bennett was just backstage, just chatting. He was like, bro, two M's, man. Fuck with it, man. <laughs> but you can't just drop that casually, like when Trippy Red brought me out. You can't, like, what? Bro, even that. Bro, I'm like, telling you. Things, just said it like, bro, like things just be happening so quick that. I don't process it, you yeah. get me? And I don't get gas, bro. Like I was saying before, I don't really look at it the way everyone else looks at it, bro. But That's good, though. I'm definitely appreciative, though, bro. That was big. Yeah, I, listen, I used to, to listen to him as well. So to just have him bring me out, it's motivation, bro. No, massive. I also heard that you got a massive, massive fan base outside of the UK as well, yeah, in yeah. Europe and stuff like that. Like, yeah. What's some of the countries that have been showing you mad love? So there's Germany. I get mad love in Germany, bro. Yeah. There's Amsterdam, Spain, and then there's Australia, bro. But I think I, out of all of them, I think I've streamed the most in Australia. I definitely need to go over there. Bro. Is it? Shout out to Aussies, yeah. boy. What, what, yeah. The Australians love UK music, though, innit? Yeah, nah, they do. It's crazy. Yeah, like, I even mean. see when Central's out there, they were just losing their minds. Even when YouTubers go out there, Chunks <laughs> and them lot, they're losing their minds out there. Have you yeah, been yet? Never, bro. Is that in there? I'm shook, sure, bro. Works? I don't like all them bugs and that, fam. <laughs> I ain't on that, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you nah. gotta go, bro. If the bag's bro, there and people wanna see if you. If the bag has to be crazy for me to go over there. Swear down. Yeah, bro. I'll do the feature thing from yeah. here over there, but going over there, bro. It's gotta make sense, innit? So what, you performed at Glastonbury, right? Mm -hmm. You performed at Wireless. Mm -hmm. This year, more festivals on the cards? What's going on? We're locking them in right now, bro. I, I, don't, wanna, I don't wanna say anything right now. <laughs> I'm gonna just say it, come out, innit? It, we say it, just come to the show. Yeah, literally, make sure you're there, innit? <laughs> literally, man. All right, so let's talk about these kicks on the wall right now. What about here? Air Maxes, obviously UK staple. Are you into Air Maxes? Yeah, Air Max are hard. Yeah. I, used to, I used to rock them. What yeah. ones? What, were you more of a 95 guy or one Yeah, guy? no, I'm, more, I'm definitely more of a 95s guy. But I used to rock these back in like year seven, year eight times. Yeah. Can't go was wrong. Was that like three years ago? Trying to violate my <laughs> <bro. laughs> These are a good thing. <laughs> I can't go wrong with these. Yeah. These are the Drizzy ones, you know? Yeah? These are the Drake ones. Nocta. Yeah, hard, hard. I know yeah. you're plugged in with Nocta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you got the Nocta plug. I got the pan, I got the pan plug as well. Come on. Come on, big up my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Utopia ones there. Still shouldn't have won a Grammy. I'm saying it again, but shout out Travis. I'll have yeah, you here. She is. Had all of them, bro. Would you ever run the as well. 97? Yeah, yeah. I had one pair, bro. One pair. What colour were they? Pair, they were black. The black, black ones. I can't go wrong with our blacks, fam. See, when I was in school, this might give my age weight. <laughs> These, like, if you had a pair of 97s, you were up there, stuff. What? You were the man, bro. <laughs> like, seriously, you were either the man, like, 
or your parents just had bread. Yeah. Like you was a Nepo baby. Did you ever um, do the Crocs? Yeah, Did you ever yeah, go on yeah, that yeah. way? Yeah, flick them in spark mode, innit? <laughs> <laughs> flick them in spark mode. Hey, Nems, what's the, what's the plans for the future, man? Because like we said, I know I keep bringing up your age, but you are young, man. Like mm -hmm. the world's your oyster right now. You're, you're clocking up crazy streams, mm -hmm. crazy views. I'm, I'm sure 2024 is going to be a massive year for you as well. Mm -hmm. But what, what is the plan for you going forward? Bro, just to keep elevating and just stay grounded, bro, and just keep hitting goals. Just yeah. Just keep hitting goals, bro. I feel like with me, I don't, I'm not easily satisfied and I feel like it's a good and a bad thing at the same time. So I don't think I'll ever stop, bro. I don't think there's ever going to be an end goal, bro. I'm just going to keep going until... It's just in you, the music, the I can't go anymore, bro. Literally. I love that, man. I'm not even just talking about money and stuff. It's yeah, just man. something you really want to do. I respect Thanks. that. And before you get your kicks mm -hmm. and hit the cash register, the tour, yeah. When bro. is the tour? Yeah, so I'm going on tour 30th of April, yeah. 7th of May. I'm doing Dublin, Manchester, London, and Glasgow. Yeah. All over the UK. Glasgow, yeah, man. Bro, my last tour, I didn't even expect to sell out my last tour, bro. It sold out. I only did three dates. It was Manchester, London, and Birmingham. Yeah. It was quite small venues. So this time we just upgrade a little bit and go again, bro. See what happens, man. Same London show. I can get some tickets. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Come on, bring, bro. I can bring a badina. Yeah, you know, bro. get me a plus. And... Bro, slide true, man. I my got guy, you, bro. My guy. I got you, I bro. Nems. Honestly, it's been a I pleasure, wait, my guy. I gotta say one more thing. Go on. Big up Zal, you know. Yeah. That's my producer, bro. This is going crazy this year, bro. You hear me on the beat? It's done by Zal. So Trust down. me. Let's Shout go, bro. All right. Pick your kicks and hit the cash register, my guy. Let's bro. go. Yes, bro. Good, yeah. Cashing out today, yeah? Yeah, man. Done a little sharpening. Lovely. So your total is? <laughs> Yeah, man, done a little, a little light one today, man. D&D &D the tape out 15th of March. Shout out, yo. <laughs>